Hello guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. Today is January the 23rd, 2018. I'm working in the shop today making more parts on the CNC lathe. Thought I'd bring you guys in, show you what I'm doing this afternoon. Now I've already done one operation of this part and I didn't video it, so you've missed out on half of it, which is the probably the the bigger part of the operation on making this part that we're working on today but I've turned it around now for the second operation it's pretty quick goes fast thought I'd show you a quick little video of what we're doing and we'll start out by telling you that the part starts from a bar of aluminum this is inch and a quarter diameter aluminum bar stock this is 6061 aluminum it machines really easy um, easy on tooling inserts they last a long time and what we're making is the knobs that go on the top of the three-piece ramrods so our first operation is this part so what we do is we've got this bar in the lathe and it's turning and we're making this shape right here that's on the end and then we part this off and we get this. That's what we wind up with once it comes off the end of the bar. So it's stuck on the end of the bar just like that and I reach in and break it off so I do it just like I did my other parts so it doesn't fall down into the chip pan with all the rest of the chips and the swarf and all that. You don't have to dig it out. And then once we break it off and I get all of these made that I'm gonna make on this go around, they gotta go back in the machine and we're going to machine this nice little dome on the end. Going to put a nice little radius on the top. Come around here, put a nice another little radius so there's no hard uh, edges. Nothing to hurt your hand when you're pushing down on it, going into your gun, pushing on the ramrod. So I'm going to bring you in. I'll show you a few things on the machine. And then we'll make a few of these parts on the camera for you. Okay guys, if you can see the screen here, this is the screen on my CNC lay. That's the control panel. That's where I do all the programming, set up the machine, teach the tools, touch off the tools, calibrate everything. Uh, do it all right here with this control panel. And I'll take you in and show you a little bit of what I can do here in the machine real quick and I'll show you. So we can go to our program We've got two programs written. It uses the same tool, which is really nice. You don't have to do any tool changes for this part. The first program is going to be our profile cycle, which is what cuts the dome on the top of this part and puts all of our nice radiuses on there. We can recall that program and see what we've got in our menu here. I can scroll down, and this is program number 8, P8. So I can recall that. And you can see the shape that I'm cutting on the end of this aluminum piece. I started out at a positive 50 thousandths in diameter. I put my 1.25 radius. I come around here with a 0.15 radius. And I ended the, ended the profile. And we can save all that. Put it in the machine. We come on down, we've got our safety distances, our coordinates, our speeds and feeds. I've got the coolant turned off right now. This little X right here, that means my coolant is turned off. I did that to do the video. Once I do the video, I'll turn my coolant back on and that'll make a lot prettier part with running coolant instead of running it dry. We're doing a feed rate of 8 thousandths per rev. We're running 1400 RPMs. I'm running tool two. I'm taking all 30 thousandths per pass. And on my finished pass, we slow down to 0 0.004. That's four thousandths of an inch per revolution. We're still running 1400 RPMs. We're still running tool two, tool two, and we're taking off five thousandths as a cleanup. So that gives you a real nice cleanup pass. So that part, that program, we went through it pretty good. And then the last program is a facing cycle. And the reason I put this facing cycle in is on each one of these parts, and I'll show you one of them here real quick. On this part, we've got a little tab or a tit or a burr or whatever you want to call it right here. 
that has to be cut off. I didn't cut it off with the profile cycle, so we're going to come in with a facing cycle and just go past zero. We got to go into a negative side of the part. So what I've done is I'm going to start out at 300 thousandths in diameter. I gave it a safety distance of positive 30. We're going to go to uh, 300 at zero, but we're going to go past the center line of the part by 75 thousandths of an inch and that way it will cut off that tip completely and leave the top of that part nice and domed over uh, it's got a real nice radius on there there's no intersection where the tool starts and stops because we went past zero if you understand what i'm saying there that is my safety distances again we're doing all this in one pass so my roughing column is all zeros my coolant is turned off. We're going to do five thousandths of an inch per revolution. We're still running 1400. We're still running with tool two. And we left 10 thousandths safety distance for cleanup. So it's all going to come in, do it in one pass. So we can escape out of all that. Now, what we can do for safety reasons. And I don't do this all the time, but sometimes I like to check the part. If it's a really complicated piece, a lot of programming or whatever, you can run your part in a simulation. So you can come here to graphics. And the reason you would want to run a simulation is if you're typing out a program and you want to move minus 50 thousandths and you tell the machine 50 thousandths and you left your minus sign out, then the machine's going to move the wrong way. It's going to do exactly what you tell it to do, right or wrong. It's going to do it. So if you tell it to move two inches and you meant to move 200 thousandths, you didn't put your decimal point in the right place, it's going to move two inches and can run right into the chuck of your machine and crash your tool or do whatever it can do. The damage can be done and it happens quite often. So this here is our simulation screen. It's, um, we got a type of graphics, which is a solid. I've already put that in there. Our display area, I can press on that. You can change your diameters or your distances sticking out from the chuck. We want a display area. We want a diameter of 1.25 inches because that's what our part starts out at, roughly 1.25. So I got all those set in there. And uh, we can get out of them. But we're going to run our program. So we just come down here and run the program. But I've got to get out of execution mode or it's going to actually run the part. That's a hell in execution mode. Now we're in simulation mode. You gotta make sure that that says simulation up on the top. If you don't, when you run the machine or you push that green button, it's actually gonna run the machine, not just do a simulation. So we're in simulation mode. I can push the green button now and it's just gonna run as a mocked up part. So you can see what your tool is doing. You can see what your part's gonna look like when it's done. And it just gives you a little peace of mind. And there is the facing cycle. It did it pretty quick. We can do it again. Um, I'll slow it down a little bit. It tells you how many passes it's going to take. It does exactly what you tell it to do. What it's gonna do on the real part is what it's gonna do on this simulation here. So it's coming in, it looks like this here is the rough finish. And you can watch the tool here. It don't go all the way past zero. This is our finish pass. Comes in, barely just touches. We're only taking off five thousandths of an inch now at five thousandths rev. And this will stop before it gets to that center line. Now the tool comes in, it does a face or a part off, and see it goes past that center line right there. You gotta get past that red line 
in order to get the radius of the tool cut completely off of the part. So now I've showed you a little bit of that stuff and we are actually ready now to run apart. So let me reset the camera and we'll get down here. We'll put a part in the chuck and we'll start running a few pieces. Okay guys, here is my box of parts that I've got to put the dome on. This is the first operation. I'll get that done and I'll move them over here and throw them in this box and then they're completely finished. They get a 1032 stud put in that hole and they're almost completely finished. So what I got to do is get a part out of this box, put it in the chuck, run it, take it out of the chuck, put it in the box. Pretty simple, but I can't do that with one hand, so I can't hold the camera and put the part in the chuck. So I'm going to have to set the camera back on the tripod and then I'll get one in the machine. Okay, fellas, so we take a part, we just stick it in the 5C collet right here and I've got a stop built inside the collet so that when I push this in it's going to stop in the same place every time. I've machined a flat right here 300 thousandths long so that when I grip that thing it's going to hold it perfectly straight and square or parallel with the machine. So we put it in, push this handle right back here and that locks it down. Now we're ready to run it and I'm going to reposition the camera so you guys can see it run. Okay, actually I'm just going to hold the camera by hand. I'm going to turn my speed up here to 100%. And push our green button. And it's going to come in and run. Now remember guys, when I get the camera, when I get done videoing, I'm going to turn the cooling on and run this machine to cool. And that'll make a lot nicer looking part. Now you can see that little kit that's sticking out on the end of the part that does not get cut off in this operation. See it right there? Now it comes in, slices it off. So now we've got a real nice little part, got a little mushroom head on it. Open the chuck handle and the part is finished. So now we just got to do that again. I have to push in on that when I tighten it up. So I'm just going to set the camera down for a second. Got it. Run one more. Well, fellas, I do believe that's about it. That's about all I can show you. I'm going to set this up, turn the coolant back on, and I can run the rest of these parts. Till next time, y'all have a good day. We'll see you later.